Here is a brief service video for SKE4 electric steam humidifiers. Maintenance procedure. The operating hours have exceeded the service hours and service due appears in the general menu. The status display LED is red. The service hours and running hours are displayed in level 3 of the menu. Press the enter button and log in 3322 and go to service. Enter it, then status and enter. Here you have the total runtime and operating time since the initial powering up of the unit at startup. Also displayed is the runtime and operating time since the last servicing and whether the unit is due for a servicing. Note that service due will be visible on the display but the humidifier will continue to operate by default. The option to automatically stop the unit completely when service is due after a thousand hours can be set in the menu. Push the enter button, log in 4433 and go to installation, enter it, then quick configuration and enter it. Here we have both the service interval and the service operation. As an example, we can reset the service interval to 1500 hours of operation and have the unit either stop or continue operating after the 1500 hours of operation. Here we have programmed allowed so that now the humidifier will continue to operate after the designated 1500 hours of operation. When a drain cycle is activated, either automatically or by manually pressing and holding the drain down button for several seconds, the drain pump and the cold water supply solenoid valve are activated simultaneously. The hot water draining from the reservoir mixes in with the cold water which is supplied directly into the drain manifold, thus lowering the temperature of the drain water before it enters the drain piping of the building. Press and hold for several seconds the drain down button and activate the pump to drain the reservoir. You will have to handle the reservoir so let it cool down if the unit has been operating and is hot. The drain and fill connection is located on the side of the reservoir and not at the bottom. This is to prevent any rigid scale from blocking the drain. Hard scale that breaks off the elements and walls of the chamber falls to the bottom of the reservoir and accumulates there. The prime reason for servicing is to remove this scale, not to let it accumulate. Shut the power off to the humidifier and remove the front cover. Disconnect the water inlet fitting connection at the reservoir and plug it closed with the plug provided as there is still several inches of water left in the chamber. Open the clamps and let the basin tilt forward. The back side of the boiling chamber is held in place and supported by a grooved rail. To slip the chamber from its rail perch, lift it up and pull it towards you and slide it down. Larger capacity units have a rail guide to facilitate this. There is a lip at the bottom of the casing to support the reservoir. You can empty it now of its accumulated mineral deposits. We suggest you have an extra gasket handy to replace the old one as part of the service agenda. The elements are self-cleaning and the hard mineral tends to break off and fall to the bottom of the chamber. This is caused by the expansion and contraction of the heating elements. If the water supply to the humidifier is very hard, as in the case of well water, and there is considerable caking of mineral deposit on the elements and in the reservoir, then you can try dislodging it. Just don't use anything metal or sharp like a screwdriver tip or a metal file. Use water only to rinse. Remove cake mineral on the elements with your fingers if it has built up to such an extent. Make sure the fill drain water orifice is clean. Slide the reservoir back up onto its rail support, lift it now and close the clamps. Connect the water supply to the reservoir, power up the unit and switch it on. Now press and hold the on off button several seconds until the blue LED lights up. Reset the operating hours to zero hours if not already done. Push the enter button, log in 3322, go to service, enter it, then command, enter, then request, enter, scroll to reset counters and enter. If there is a demand for humidity coming from the humidity controller, and if the security circuits are all closed and the unit is in the normal control mode, the reservoir will fill with water and the state is filling displayed. Once the water control level has been reached, the main power contactor will close and heating will appear as the status. 
When the water begins to boil, boiling will appear as the status. The full operating, programming and servicing video will be available soon. Consult the factory if for any reason.